just we're just working on the feet right now. Great position, great position. Now, Harvey, well, I'm gonna pick on you just a little bit, okay? See how Harvey set up? Harvey set up to open his legs here. He'll never have leg drive from that back in. So turn that big toe in. So it's just in front of your heel, okay? You do, you do it great, okay? Just in front of that heel, okay? Or even if that feels comfortable. Turn it just a little, and then from there, just turn that knee so you can feel a little bit of engagement in there, okay? Because that is gonna create a good foundation to be able to roll, okay? Does that make sense? You guys feel the difference in that at all? on that bottom half. Now, think of it like this. You don't want to be holding on here because this leg's going to just get so tired of waiting. The first thing you're going to want to do is going to be like a horse race. When that horse race opens up, boom, they shoot out. So as soon as you see the pitch, you shoot out. That's why the timing, okay? But if you're kind of just resting here, me, if you look at some of my, my videos, my hands, I move, and if the guy's taking long, I'll come, I'll just move so my feet are loose, okay? And my body's secure, but not holding my breath. When you start holding your breath, by the time you let it out, it's gonna be a lot, it's just, it's, it's, it's gonna be like a hot air balloon and it's just gonna not move very fast. Hot air balloon doesn't move very fast, right? Okay, so loose, loose, I tap sometimes and I'm even even more subtle there. It depends on the picture, okay? <laughs> and then what you want to do is you want to make it 60, 40, 70, 30, whatever you want to say, but just enough load that when you load, you can immediately drive, okay? So, depending on the pitch, fast, low, high, outside, that's going to be on how well you can drive to the ball. Sometimes you have to drive and then re-step, and that's okay. If you have good balance, you'll be able to re-step. You'll be like, oh, I thought that was going to be fast. Oh, let me stay a little longer and then reset. okay? Or you have perfect timing. Timing in slow pitch softball is way more important than most people think. But in baseball, it's different. You've got so much, it's just it's there, right? Timing is really, really important. And it's really, really important for you for success. So today, we're going to work on hitting to the opposite field first. It's something that I believe is, is, is the most important part. If you can learn how to get your hands inside the ball and hit to the opposite field, pulling, okay, pulling the ball. Okay. So when you when you drive and get into that position where you're just about to swing, this let that naturally go rather than making it a, a movement. You went straight down. When you went straight down, it was just here and you could never rotate around your body, okay? So when you go there, all the energy just goes. When you drive and your foot catches, it's gonna also catch all the energy to come through and rotate. And as we get older, when we need rotation, let me get all that sand there. The rotation I create with my feet because I can only so much handle this rotation to where my body starts to feel sick, okay? So I create it with my feet, but I stay connected from my feet all the way to my hands in the swing. So I don't swing and this be loose. I swing and I want to feel like I'm stuck into the ground. So my toes are almost gripping onto the ground. Does that make sense? Okay. So all we're going to do right now is just work on the lower half of getting set and drive. Hold the drive position. So set, drive. I want to see everybody do about five to seven of those. Okay. I'm going to watch every one of Okay. No swing, we're just driving. Now, everybody stop for one second. Don't move, Harvey. 
lunge. Okay? Let me show you a lunge. Okay? Right? So look. Lunge. Drive. Drive. So left that. Go. I would say here. Lead with the hip, not with the foot. Okay? Much better there. Hold. Now we're going to go to the next one here just to help you out a little bit. We're going to hold the drive. I want to say everybody hold that drive right there. Hold it. Up. Go ahead and relax again. Imagine there's a tennis ball in between your legs and you have to hold it. Close those legs more. There you go, good. Again, very, very nice. Tell so you're stacked right over that, right over your hips there. So now when you come, you can drive. Okay, so now I want you guys to get in that stacked position right there and drive. Let your foot catch itself, catch your body. Don't go and go, oh, let me, let me step. Does that make sense? There's a difference between coming here and going there and Okay. <laughs> Keep your upper body still like the Statue of Liberty. Three points here in a power V position. Okay. Knob, elbow, elbow. Okay. So everybody kind of just get a little bit closer right here. I want you to see so, so you can see the that. Position. V position. You see that? That V position. Anything here, you lose power. Okay, so this comes out, V's gone. Okay? This lags, V's gone. The only thing to go there is this way, okay? And if you look, look at the look at the movement of it. It is your torso that gets not your hands. Okay? So, so from here, all you're going to do is come here in that V position and just use your hands here. You're going to feel this crumple on this side a little bit and this stay nice and tight. Okay? And I want to just squeeze every muscle in your, in, from here to your shoulders, okay? <laughs> Close those elbows up just a little bit there, just a little bit. Hands, lead with your chest here. There it is. No, stop. Hold it, do it again. Stop. Here, so that back's parallel with home plate. Home plate. <laughs> Just imagine there's a wall right here. <laughs> From there, we're going to slow it down now. We're going to slow it down. In this position here, and then we're going to go just like this. And hold, and then reset. Okay, so let me show you one more time. Don't break the wrist. Get to the position for your ear. So hand up, hands down, right into there, not over. Point back point of contact. Point at the pitcher. 
point up and put your foot up. Yeah, full extension. Elbow through 
just a little bit more. Just a little bit and stay on your toes, on your back foot, just a little bit more. So keep your stride. So look how close my feet are together. That is nice. <laughs> now, I know you a little bit more of a place hitter, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to work on that, okay? Don't step, Harvey. Drive. So hold and then drive. and hold the position when you make contact. <laughs> 
again, use those legs and hold the position. Good. Hold the position. <laughs> Much better. Dominant eyes. So in baseball, it's one of the tests we test you do when you're stout. Are you which eye do you see? This one, right? I'm right eye dominant. So I'm a perfect left-handed hitter. You guys are all opposite. Left, 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 right, right. So you two should be left and you three should be right. That's why I was like, why is his hip so open? Because you can't see. Your dominant eye is the one that's in the back. And that's the same for, for you guys. Well, that's why you guys were all pull. All five of you are pull hitters. Mainly because you pick up the ball with the trailing eye. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so what do you do? Let me get that eye to slow go because I can see. Because if I go like this, I can't see the ball, right? But you're going to have to reposition your head, not your body. Okay? best you can or if you can incorporate it which will take a little bit longer than what we can do today is you can open up but when you open up you got to be able to close close without doing this because the more your head moves the less chance you're going to have to be able to make consistent contact that make sense cool so let's try it again except <coughs> Uh, open up your stance so much. Nice and close. Up. Not the eyes there. Now just adjust your much better. Perfect. <laughs> Keep those elbows in one position there, 
and keep them together. So when they move, it's like this. It's not like this, not unilaterally, it's bilaterally together, okay? <laughs> there it is. That's nice. Don't let those hands, don't let those wrists move, okay? Use your body. Twist shoulders. Okay. Oh, come around. Okay. That's close. Right elbows, just a little lag. That's I like that. Keep those elbows close together. Okay. Last one. That's perfect. Good. <laughs> Power, Harvey, not power. Too hard. Now your hand, your left, your right wrist is your, your right wrist is swinging the whole entire bat. So I want you to hold the bat that right with that with that right hand, like like loose, so loose. You're still still holding it too but too tight. Go too tight. Go too tight. There it is. Good. Now find some balance. Looser. Looser. Use your torso, not your hands. Your hands are just holding on that back so it won't fall out. Loose, loose. Close. On the balance. Balance. Good balance. But don't make it harder because you're starting to figure out I want it to be softer and softer each time. The goal is to be softer and softer. Too hard. Out here, because what goes out 
must come in. What comes in must go out. Make sense? If it goes out there. It's got to make a sharp right turn for me for this barrel to get to here. So what does that do? Look. Now when I come inside, now what's going to happen? Top hand dip. here and I'm twisting like a top okay I'm twisting like a top so look I'm not here doing it where my shoulders are square here I want him to be able to see the Z on my last name Sanchez right so maybe he's gonna be able to see that Z there and then hold there don't want you to finish one more Thank you, Jimmy. Turn your right shoulder in. So turn your right shoulder in this way towards me. Right shoulder in towards me. Now put your left or right elbow through. I like that. Now let's just do this. Okay, so close that hip up. There. And then there. Oh. I want you to get late. Later, later, later. There it is again. Justin, put it in your fingers. Okay, next. Have some balance. Get that lunge position. So you start in the lunge position and then come back. There we go. Now get on the other side. There it is. A little bit more. Still too early.
understand nice. when you drive it with your fingers. You know why? It was in your, it was in your palm. Look at the tight spin of that when it's in your fingers. See the tight spin on that? See the way the ball jumps off the bat? You're gonna naturally want to be in the palm with where you are right now. Go ahead, put it in the palm again. There you go. See how it doesn't spin as much? Yep. See that spin now? Even though it's a tough pitch, right? Good. All right, next. Righty, righty. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do one more after this, so we'll pick these things up.
Don't even do this way, just scoop the ball up. Then she can really, really drive the softball when it's in those fingers. Okay? So you really, really got to drive it to the It's probably one of the hardest things to get into to be able to do. And I'm not, when I when I transition from nice, when I transition from baseball to softball, my hands inside of that softball. Okay, one more, Jimmy. So then when I come inside, I can hit it. That's the easy part, okay? That's the hard part. But when you can do that very easily, you should work from here to there. Again, one more. So you can just throw those hands. And now look at my lower body. I'm engaged the entire time, but I'm not reaching out. I'm not jumping at it. I'm just nice and smooth. A couple more. A little bit deep. Oh, I tried to full swing that one. Two more. Last one. I love to work my hands inside, even though if it's inside. And Harvey, we did the T right there, yeah. the, the inside drill. Three, four, hole. So the last one that we're going to do. All right. Where did you stand, Wayne? Like? Right here, right? Right? I think I stand right here. Okay. A little bit closer. Could master that, and it's something that you can start here and just get so you're even right hip or belly button, and work on doing this first. Meaning, that's one rep until that just becomes natural. And then don't start doing this because you're going to have a hard time just starting from it, right? When you can do that and get to the barrel, see yourself in that barrel, then. So then everything else is easy. 
everything else becomes, you open up yourself to go to any pitch. When you can do this, you'll be able to open yourself up to any pitch. Make sense? Okay, so let's pick these up and then we're gonna do like this. Or on the ground is acceptable. And then for you guys, conversely, the first base. Okay? So we're in right, right half. It's not so much that we're trying to get the pitch, we're really, really trying to get our body to, to understand how to move. Okay? Thank you. 
high, right? Now, something I'm a big advocate for is the batter's box. Okay? The batter's box, three decades ago, was like right here. You couldn't get further than about one plate, 18 inches or something like that, right? Now, non-existent as long as your back foot is here so Matt look at that it's almost two and by the time people stride they're like this you can see videos where guys are like this look at that so the strike zone is really skewed right now I feel in a lot of association because they allow this so it takes away from true hitters because when it's here it's acting up there now some of the ball can go but put some low, they're in trouble. So how do they take away the low pitch? They just keep speeding up and they just speed up over the years. Soon they're gonna be this close. I you know it's an over exaggeration, but this is an over exaggeration from this. So high high T only works up or half. The lower half is almost really, really quiet, right? Now I can use my legs. But you want to generate power? Get a blow because it forces you to use your lower half. Now I know you're still gonna hit a ball here chest high, but when you're here. I think hitting off low is more beneficial for the lower half. That's why people lose the lower half because they do this. And that's why most some 
alligator, you see like some of the great, great hitters, which are all great hitters in their own right. Really strong upper bodies, but they got no lower end. None whatsoever. But they're really strong, so these create a lot of swings. And so then the technology goes. So I'm like, man, I would love to see a wood bat tournament for the top players in the game, right? We really, we see the difference between a hitter and a softball player. That's just, that's my personal opinion, okay? So, is that when the uh, cut swing comes in the Uh, to a point, to a point, I think. I, I, I like the cut swing, but if you're going to be a cut, if you're going to have a good cut, you're cutting the ball and you're hitting it to left center with the most power on that, right? So until you learn how to hit that really well, everything again is still, you're going to have improved, but until, until you can hit that here, like through there, then you can start cutting the ball. Because now you can meet that ball there out the front. So right now I'm trying to get you to meet it right there. It's the same swing same swing whether it's outside middle or inside same exact swing that's why I teach the outside swing if I only teach you this portion what about all that make sense cool who's up
strong. It's probably one of the best hits I've ever seen you because you just go back. Just your hand will naturally, your brain's going to tell you, hold on to it. And you swing. It's just naturally going to tell it that. It will say it. It just fires to it. So when I hold the bat and when I'm warming up, like, dude, pull out of my hand. Ready? Pull out of my hand. the wrong thing to do because you've got a little bit of progress. Hold on. Is this recording? Yes. Yeah. The wrong thing to do is to try to lift it when we're learning how to drive it. You go right back and support the lift and scoop. I know you want to hit it a long way, but it's the, that drive is meeting that ball here and not scooping it up on the way up. Okay? Don't but the, the biggest thing that we'll do is we'll find some success in what we're doing and then we're like, oh, let's hit it harder. No, be perfect in hitting it to that mat 20 times in a row because it's going to put your body in a very functional state to be able to throw your hands all over the place. And then when you start driving it, it just naturally happens. We, what did I say in the beginning? We get ourselves out, right? Because we have an outcome. Oh, I'm going to drive this one. And what happened? You just popped up the left over. Okay. No outcomes, just effort in trying to be perfect in your swing. <clears throat> Good pitches. Good pitches. Those should have been two takes. Ready? Get to set. It's facing there. I want to face in there. Our first game, we're all going to be thinking differently. We're going to be swinging. <laughs> nice. Two adjustments. He tried to create on his own. So I have to start double charging him for lessons because he wants to do his own thing. Okay. So I would tell parents when the kids want to do their own thing. He tried to create more whip by coming off. So I pushed him here, and then I went from here to here. But was that a pretty good ball strike? Small, tiny adjustment, but create the consistency to do that 10 times before you swing harder. You adjustment, you try, he wants to. We should not be able to see the, the numbers on that thing, and we can see the numbers. Hide the numbers from us. Nope. Barely. There, that's much better. Relax. Better ball strike. Relax. You don't even probably know you're doing it, but you're just so used to it. It's good. We all, what do we all see? We can see the number, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were like this. Went. Yeah, like but just like that. Yeah, yeah hide the number. You, you went you literally like that. Go ahead and get that. You were like this. I was like, oh, 26, right? We want, can you see the number now? No, 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 I should relax. Stay there. No, 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 stay there. He did it again, right? Right there, don't move. Just relax. Relax. This 
See how tense he is? How he lunge? Relax, Harvey. <laughs> reset now. Reset and then just now reset. Put the bat down. The longer you hold that thing, that's why. I'm Don't hold on to it. You're waiting. Look at him. He's still picking up balls. You're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. Just tying yourself out. It's like it would be like doing bench press and like holding it right here for a, a minute and say, "All right, now press ten times." Okay. No, no shot. Right. So just relax, relax. Come here, relax, and then when he's getting ready to pitch, then you go. Good ball strike, right? Not a great one because I can still see the numbers. Great ball strike, but I could not see the number. Not even close. Wow. That's it. So we're gonna, we're gonna make time again. We'll do it again. And, and so now you guys have this there when you guys go home and you work on it. Then we're gonna do a small mini assessment. We're gonna go right into live. We'll do some teamwork, but I really want to go right into live to see what you guys can learn. Yeah, no, thank you, dude. Thanks so much for the time, guys. Yeah, you're welcome.